Hello, my name is Silke Mada. I'm the co-founder and chairwoman of the European Foundation for the Care of Newborn Infants. And we are also co-founder of the World Prematurity Day together with our national parent organization, which was founded on the 17th of November in 2008. So we have this year the 15th anniversary of World Prematurity Day. My talk today is about small action, big impact, immediate skin to skin care for every baby everywhere. The reason why we are talking about this today is because in most of the countries in the world, skin to skin care is not proper implemented. And just last year, World Health Organization has published recommendations and showed hard evidence on why it is important to provide skin to skin care already at the moment of birth. Many people think that this is a treatment which mainly occurs to countries in low and low middle income countries and in high tech countries uh, like myself coming from Germany, they are not often providing skin to skin care at the moment of birth. And here you see some examples from our World Prematurity Day campaign to ensure that people understand that everywhere in the world, skin to skin care should be provided at the moment of birth. When we look into the hospitals today in high income countries, we all know a lot the ones uh, where we have a lot of incubators, high technology, um, taking care of very small babies. But where, where do you see here the parents? There is, of course, healthcare professionals, personnel where, who are taking care of the babies. But what is missing are the parents or the love or the ones who are bonding with the baby. And when you see then the other photo where I'm very proud of that we have this even in Germany in the meanwhile, that skin to skin care is really possible at the moment of birth, where we see the baby sucking on the mother's breast, where the mother is not sitting on a chair, she's lying on a bed and has the baby directly next to her in her own room. So we have single rooms where parents can be with their baby 24 seven. And we all know how much the pandemic the last three years has influenced this concept of welcoming parents 24 seven and improving the care by skin to skin care. When we just go last year, then on World Prematurity Day was published the new strong recommendations from the World Health Organization. And we are very proud that also EFCNI was part of this development. And what we were happy that WHO is now newly recommending KMC, so kangaroo mother care, is recommended as a routine care for all preterm and low birth uh, infants. And kangaroo mother care can be initiated in the healthcare facilities or at home and should be given a minimum of eight hours and up to 24 hours per day. So when you really want to provide this, you have to ensure that parents are welcome 24 seven in the neonatal units. And this is not only um, um, a weak recommendation you see here, that it's a strong recommendation from the World Health Organization with a high certainty evidence. And so therefore we are happy that this is one of the big new recommendations. What is the difference then to immediate kangaroo mother care? That means that kangaroo mother care, so skin to skin care and the support of breastfeeding is already provided immediately after the baby is born and as soon as possible. And I will tell you later also more details about it. Then, of course, there were also new recommendations on providing caffeine for the babies, but that's not my topic today. But when you go also then on the last two ones, family involvement. Here it was also recommended and you see here also a strong recommendation that family involvement in the routine care for preterm and low birth infants in healthcare facilities is recommended. So the whole family should be involved. It's their baby. It's this baby is going home with their family. So therefore they should be involved from the very beginning. And also when it comes to discharge management and home visit also here, home visits by trained healthcare workers are recommended to support families to care for their preterm and low birth infant when this baby is coming home. And also here you see a strong recommendation, which means in most of our countries, that's a guideline what needs to be implemented.
And when we talk about what is kin to skin care and what is kangaroo mother care, that is always well, quite often mixed up. And when you see how WHO is defining kangaroo mother care, it means that again, continuous and prolonged skin to skin care for the first for, for eight to 24 hours per day and as long as many hours as possible. And it should be initiated immediately after birth. It is also, um, it also includes the breastfeeding and uh, breast milk feeding when the mother or the baby cannot um, suck themselves to provide mother's own milk. That includes the name kangaroo mother care. And also one of the topics from this kangaroo mother care um, definition means that this baby should go home as soon as possible, so timely discharge. And um, it can also mean that it goes in a lower facility hospital. So we not take these babies in the intensive care units as long as sometimes they think it is important. It really should go home as soon as possible. And when we think about what is skin to skin care, that's in the end one part of the kangaroo mother care concept. And skin to skin care, what I said already before, means immediately after birth, when the baby needs not to be resuscitated or stabilized, then it should start already with skin to skin care as long as possible. And when the mother is not available because she's sick herself, father or other family members can provide the, um, can provide skin to skin care. Important is also to say that formula milk should only be provided in exceptional circumstances to really push and support the mother to provide their own milk for this tiny little baby. Why is it important? Is it just because we women or we mothers, we want to have it? No, there is a hard evidence behind and therefore was also um, provided at the end the recommendations from WHO. So when you see here the facts and figures that a meta-analysis showed that kangaroo mother cares or the concept, what I said before, the skin to skin, the early discharge, the breastfeeding, shows that it reduces mortality by 40%, infections like sepsis by 65%, and hypothermia by 72%. Which drug, which treatment? would give this kind of facts and figures and arguments why it should be implemented. The skin-to-skin -skin contact between the mother and the baby enhances the general stability of the child, resulting in less stress, better sleep, cognitive control across the first 10 years of life. So it has also a long-term consequence when you provide kangaroo mother care. Also significant long-lasting social and behavior protective effects on a preterm baby even 20 years after the baby is born. So there are a lot of reasons why we should provide kangaroo mother care, why we should provide skin to skin care and support breastfeeding. And to continue skin to skin care after preterm birth decreases the cortisol level in the mother and the baby, parental stress depression and supports breastfeeding, which is also important for the mother themselves. So a lot of arguments and facts and hard evidence why it is important to implement a skin to skin policy in your neonatal unit. When it comes in the end to further um, facts and further, um, further evidence, it is important to really start KMC immediately after birth. And as I said before, only when resuscitation is necessary, then of course we have to um, see that the baby, of course, first is stabilized, but after then, in the delivery room, KMC can, of course, pro be provided. And it is also important that we um, initiate before the newborn is considered clinically stable. So it means not only when there is no tube in the baby that baby can um, can uh, kangaroo or can skin to skin care. It is really also possible for unstable babies when the baby is resuscitated, when the baby is stabilized, then putting the baby on the mother's or on the father's or family member's chest. And uh, important is that when the mother herself is not able to provide a, uh, immediate kangaroo mother care, a partner and a family member can provide this important care for the tiny little baby. And as you see, a lot of resources, references are 
are in the meanwhile available, which are used for kangaroo mother care. Why immediate kangaroo care and kangaroo mother care is so important. So you see again the facts, lower mortality rates, lower rates of hypothermia at discharge, less instances of sepsis. So there are key facts why it is important. And you see here also a very nice picture, a very tiny baby in Africa, which helps these babies to survive. It is a powerful treatment and it's cost efficient. It is something where everywhere in the world it can be provided, not only in low and low middle income countries. It should be the routine care, as the WHO says, the routine care practice for all infants born preterm with low birth um, weight infants, and it needs to be an immediate medical attention. I thank you so much for your attention, and I hope that I could give you an insight on why we have to work together to provide the best care for our babies worldwide. Thank you.